Okay, check out this little ukulele. <laughs> this ukulele was built from one of these Arturo Fuente petite boxes. In fact, you can still see the petite information. So what I did is I peeled and sanded the box strategically and then stained it and steel wooled it. So that's how I got the box. And these corners have been patinaed with um, liver of sulfur. And it gives you that awesome patina. These F-hole covers were made by a friend of mine who lives in Colorado Springs. And they are the bomb. OMG. Okay, now you'll notice a few things here that are different here. I do have a traditional style of ukulele um, bridge or saddle. And the neck... This one here, uh, I, I actually got from MJB parts. And then we burned in my ook on the top there. So, um, I just love the way this thing here come, came together. This here is an access panel to get you inside here to the, to the mechanism that attaches. But look how tight that little contact is there. I mean, that is just tight. So there are eight corners. Every corner has double. As well as a, um, a non-traditional strap connector. So, here is the bomb. This here is a four band graphic equalizer um, preamp with a battery access here. So the battery just plugs in there. With a volume control. And then of course the battery access there. And you'll notice that the thickness on that is just perfect. I mean, you could not have asked for anything perf more perfect. Now, this thing does have like a little curve to it. And that is because this is meant to be um, installed on a traditional guitar. And traditional guitars have curvy bodies, right? Uh, but one thing I did notice here, and I'm going to point this out to you, is that notice how this curve matches perfectly with the curve of the f-hole here ah, looky there so um the tuning on this thing here is g c e a and i'm telling you what man it's like i almost forgot what it, how fun it is to play on one of these uh, four scale or four string instruments um, with with this tuning. It, seriously, it's like I, I forgot all, I forgot how fun it is. I will plug this thing in again to the Vox, and we will um, run through all the different settings on this four band graphic equalizer. So here, check this out. So before I show you the settings on the amp, I was going to show you the guy who's actually setting on the amp. He's my little friend. He keeps me company. So he, these are the settings on the amp. Everything is straight up. No effects and everything is straight up. So that means that the sound is just coming from the ukulele. Now I'm also setting these guys here 
flat as well to begin with here. So the volume is down. So this is the sound unplugged. Okay, the volume is down now. Here's the sound unplugged. Now, um, traditionally you're not supposed to play with a pick when you play the ukulele. The very first thing I learned when I played the ukulele was I was playing it all wrong. The guy, the guy saw, saw, looked at me and says, you're a guitar player. And I was like, guilty. Um, and that was because I was playing it like this. And he's like, no, 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 you gotta play with your fingers. And so I was like, I was like, okay. And then he, then, and then he was telling me that you gotta play with the, the pads of your fingers, not your fingernails, but the pads of your fingers. And then also you gotta play toward the middle of the string. So if you're fretting up here, then this would be the middle of the string here. If it's open, then the middle of the string would be here. So all of that stuff doesn't really, doesn't really matter, but um, it's just stuff I learned over the years. Okay, so this is the sound unplugged. And um, I don't even know what to play here. Let's see here. So I know I'm playing it all wrong, but okay, so that is unplugged. Even though it's plugged in, I have the volume down. So now I'll turn the volume up. One of the things I really like about this thing here is when you do these major seven chords, and these are just stair step chords, where it's like every note is like a stair step. Listen to how these things, because you have the skinny string on the top. I mean, the, the top string is like the, the, the skinny string here. So li listen to the way this sounds here. Isn't that a cool sound? Okay, so I am going to, uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna let you hear the sounds of these things here when I go, when I go through the graphic here. So it's like, um, this is the treble side. Bass uh, mids, and then the bass. So this is like nothing. Here's the bass, listen, listen, to, listen to the bass. Mids. Treble. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. Then I'll turn down the bass. Turn down the mids. Turn down the treble. I mean, gosh. That is just insane here. So I'll turn up just, just the mids. And then I'll turn down the bass and turn up the mids. 
So, so they call it, or actually that's that's backwards. Oh, that's right. I'm upside down. Okay, so that's called scooped. That's when you uh, turn up the bass and the treble and turn down the mids. And then, yeah, so anyhow, so this is just flat. This is uh, normal, I guess. Which is a great sound. All right, so I'm going to turn up some of the uh, some of the reverb on the amp here and get a few different sounds here. You're not going to believe this. When I crank up the reverb, <clears throat> so I've got check out check out this sound here, and I do have the graphic set like that. So I have the bass turned up and the treble turned down, everything kind of at a diagonal there. Check out this sound. Now, if I put a pick in my hand and I tap the pick on the metal corner here, I can go. Isn't that just crazy? Or the back side, check out the back side here. This is like, get, get like a drum set. Get the amp to drive. Get my get my wedding ring to. Wow, there is so much fun that you person could have with this thing. Oh my gosh. All right, we are gonna try our hand at a little ukulele blues. All right, so this here will be the one chord. And this here will be the four chord. And this here will be the five chord. And this here will be my drummer. Okay, we're just gonna make up words, and we'll see see how this goes. Every time I close my eyes, I see your face. Every time. If I want to see you, I just close my eyes. Every time I close my eyes, I see your rain. Every time.
If I want to see you I just close my eyes Yeah, something like that. Anyhow, this thing is a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Little did I know that four strings are one string too many. All right, guys. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And like I always say, see you in the next video.